Hi friends, it's Miss Huntley, the STEM specialist at Weaver. I'm back to read a book for you. The book's title is, What Do You Do With an Idea? Hmm. It is written by Kobe Yamamata and illustrated by Mae Buzzum. And it's published by a group called Commendium. Now, let's think about our title. What do you do with an idea? I wonder what this book is gonna be about. Have you ever had an idea? I'm gonna share one of my craziest ideas with you. When I was in elementary school, my little brother always spilled his milk at the dinner table. So I had an idea to build something that would catch the milk before it landed on my lap. We called it the milk gutter. Have you ever had a crazy idea? Maybe it's an invention or something cool that you could build. At the end of this, you're gonna have a chance to share your idea. Let's go back to the title. What do you do with an idea? Hmm. Maybe this book's gonna tell us what we should do with our ideas. Let's listen. What do you do with an idea? One day I had an idea. Where did it come from? Why is it here? I wondered, what do you do with an idea? I think his idea is this little egg, but we'll have to see. At first, I didn't think much of it. It seemed kind of strange and fragile or breakable. I didn't know what to do with it, so I just walked away from it. I acted like it didn't belong to me. He's leaving that egg behind. but it followed me. His idea is following him. I worried what other people would think. What would people say about my idea? I kept it to myself. I hid it away and didn't talk about it. I tried to act like everything was the same as it was before my idea showed up. I kind of have a connection to this. When I had my idea, I didn't want to share it with people at first because I thought they would think I was kind of crazy. I tried to hide it away, just like he's doing. But there was something magical about my idea. I had to admit, I felt better and happier when it was around. It wanted food, it wanted to play, Actually, it wanted a lot of attention. It grew bigger and we became friends. I showed it to other people, even though I was afraid of what they would say. I was afraid that if people saw it, they would laugh at it. I was afraid they would think it was silly. And many of them did. They said it was no good. They said it was too weird. They said it was a waste of time and that it would never become anything. Man, if people said hurtful words like that about my idea, I don't think that would have made me feel very good. It might've made me feel sad and maybe even a little angry. And at first I believed them. I actually thought about giving up on my idea. I almost listened to them. But then I realized, what do they really know? This is my idea, I thought. No one knows it like I do. And it's okay if it's different and weird and maybe a little crazy. I decided to protect it, to care for it. I fed it good food. I worked with it, I played with it, but most of all, I gave it my attention. My idea grew and grew, and so did my love for it. I built it a new house, one with an open roof where it could look up at the stars, a place where it could be safe to dream.
I liked being with my idea. It made me feel more alive, like I could do anything. It encouraged me to think big and then to think bigger. It shared its secrets with me. It showed me how to walk on my hands because it said, it's good to have the ability to see things differently. I couldn't imagine my life without it. Then one day, something amazing happened. My idea changed right before my very eyes. It spread its wings, took flight, and burst into the sky. I don't know how to describe it, but it went from being here to being everywhere. It wasn't just a part of me anymore. It was now a part of everything. And then I realized what you do with an idea. You change the world. The end. Wow, I love this book. It teaches us that we need to share our ideas. We might have some crazy ideas. They might even be a little weird, but it's important that we share them. Did you know that everything around you was once an idea? The person who had that idea took care of it, helped it grow, and shared it with others, and then it became a real thing. Now it's your turn to practice. On the next slide, you get to share your idea. You can draw it and use the microphone tool to tell your teacher all about your idea. In STEM, we have a lot of crazy ideas, but also a lot of fun ideas. Can't wait to see what you share.